chosen vessels what's the deal it's your main man drew tube and i'm back at you again with another video i need every vessel to hit that like button hit that share button and don't forget to subscribe shout out to the galactic family the gcvs and of course drew nation all right we're about to get into the classroom on this one let's go using reverse psychology on your mind to feel comfortable around the woman you like to not be awkward and out of place let's talk about it men today with these phones there's a lot of temptation to think and look at women a certain way some may call it objectifying women all right some may call it sexualizing women but the thing is it's like your mind is being sexualized all right your mind is being hit with all these images even when you try to not look up certain things or say you're on a fast from certain things say you're not doing certain things it's like yo, i don't watch certain stuff on youtube i don't watch certain stuff on the internet you know i'm not into that i want to i want to i want to i want to uh i want my i want to do better with my life i want to do better spiritually i want to be better mentally um it's like yo it's like i'm not certain things that make me think a certain way it's like you know i'm not into that so but the, the, it, it, it makes it difficult because like your, your phone is at war with your mind pretty much in a sense all right um you're, you're trying to just look at what you want to look at all right you might be on youtube or you might be on the gram or you might be on you know some social media site you know or you might you might just be using your phone and yo, know, certain things will pop up and it's like, yo, they have, it's a war on the mind with these phones. They have certain things that pop up that will try to trigger certain things in you and, and create your mind to have a certain response. And as a, as a man, you just can't help that, you know, you like certain things, you like seeing certain things. But the thing is, it's like you don't want to put yourself in a certain mind state and I understand. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. All right. There's certain things that you watch that when you get around other people, you're going to feel bad about yourself. You're going to feel negative about yourself. You're going to have a, 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 a weird vibe about you because of certain things that you could possibly be into. All right. You know, certain things that you're looking at, you know, you don't want to look at those things because what it's going to do is it's going to put your mind in a certain state when you're around other people and when you're around a female. All right. So what you have to do is you have to do things that are going to allow you to think a certain way, to think in a way to where you feel comfortable around people, to think in a way where you feel comfortable around females. All right. You're not going to want to be watching certain things and looking at certain things. All right. Even if it's just a girl shaking her butt or something like that, you don't want to view those things because it's going to put you in a certain mindset. And it's like, yo, who don't want to look at that? Fellas, I understand. I get it. But the thing is, that's going to put you in a certain mind state to view women a certain way. And it's like you can't help it because if that's what you watch, that's how you're going to look at females. All right. That's how you're going to look at women. And you don't want to look at women that way because when you get around them, that's what you're going to be thinking. All right. So what you want to do is you want to not look at any of that stuff all right it's going to distract you it is a distraction number one and it's going to put you in a, a negative toxic frame of mind it's going to put you in a mind frame where you look at women a certain way and that's going to make you give off certain vibes and it's going to make you become a certain kind of dude and you don't want to be that kind of dude all right it could even potentially make you thirsty all right it could potentially uh just create bad interactions with you and females all right you're supposed to be talking to females you're supposed to be getting to know females you're not supposed to immediately be thinking about trying to get you know it, uh, physical with them and things that of that nature are right? you're not supposed to be immediately just like that's the only thing you're thinking about all right you're obviously going to think about that you're a person you're alive you're a man them thoughts are going to cross your mind you're going to think about uh the way she looks and how you know you you know you're going to get certain vibes from that all right and i'm not i'm not saying that that's a bad thing that's a natural thing but that's why when you look back in the past 
women would dress a certain way. And plus, not only that, but women dress a certain way, even regardless of that, because you could argue that there are tribes where, you know, the females walk around butt naked. But the thing is, it's like that perversion in the mind is not there. So it's like that's something that people are used to. All right. It's not something that people are, are walking around like, oh, my God. It's not like a oh, my God thing when they see a woman of their tribe or a woman in their environment and she, she hardly got their clothes on. That's how the people dress. That's how they're used to viewing each other. All right. And the men probably ain't got nothing on either. All right. But I know you ain't worried about that. So let's get into this video. Um, the reason why you want to re reprogram your mind around females is that way so you can have uh you know have a, a connection with the 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 woman that you want to uh get to know or talk to or you want to have a stronger connection more than just trying to get with her all right you don't want just that's not the only connection that you want all right and you want to i mean you want to be able to just make her feel comfortable all right. And you can't like women could pick up on vibes. If all you're thinking about is sex, then she's not going to be that comfortable around you. She's going to pick up on that and she's going to be like, oh, OK, he's one of them dudes. And, yo, I, it's, it's nothing wrong with sex, but you don't want to just be focused on that. You don't want to be talking to her for just that. Only that. All right. There's more to a person than just that. There's more than a person to their body or the way they look. But the thing is, it's like it's, it, they make it hard when you're constantly seeing images of someone shaking their butt or someone like holding up they uh they chest all out got the cleavage all out you know it's like yo that's you know they're they're purposely programming you to look at women a certain way and what that's going to do is make it weird for you all right when you go to talk to a female or try to get to know a female because that's the only thing that's going to be on your mind that's the only thing that you're going to be thinking about, all right? So using reverse psychology, you have to, number one, not watch those kinds of things. You got to not look at those kinds of things, watching twerk videos, watching uh, women walk around in little short clips with next to nothing, jiggling they muffin, all right? You have to not watch them kind of things. You see, like, it should, it should, you should get to the point to where it makes you mad that they're actually showing you these images. There's better things to think about. There's better things to focus on. There's better things to, to be doing with your life and with your mind than worried about some girl's behind. All right, there's, there's way better things for you to be doing with your life. There's way better things for you to be doing with your mind, all right, than, than focusing on some, some woman's behind, all right? And they, they make it hard because it's like that's all they put out. And you as a dude that likes women, when you see these images, it's like, wow, man, she, she our body is tight. She look good, man. She got a shape like a figure eight, and that makes me feel really great. But it's like you want to focus on better things. You want to focus on things like getting your life together. All right, you want to have your mind focused on God. You want to have your mind focused on uh, getting your finances right. All right, focus on self-educating. You don't want to just have that the only thing you're thinking about. It ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, I'm not down on anybody that does that, but what I'm saying is there's more that you could be doing with your mind, and when you get around certain females, that's the first thing that's going to be on your mind. You're not going to be trying to get to know her. You're not going to be trying to teach her anything. You're not going to be trying to uh, teach her who you are or what you're into. You're going to lack substance, and a lot of the, a lot of women like men with substance, and if you want the woman to like you and have a connection with you like you want, you're going to have to have some type of substance. You're going to have to have some type of substance. All right. You're going to have to um, be able to engage with her on an intellectual level. A lot of women, they like men that they can engage with on an intellectual level. Women that women like to talk, right? They like to talk, 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 and they talk to talk, talk. Women love conversation. All right. Yo, conversation rules the nation. Women like to talk. So when you, you when but if your conversation is only about sex, like you talking to her and then the first thing that come out your mouth, oh, your, your butt, your breast, you're this, you're that. That's not good. It's not good, fellas. You have to be able to engage with women on an intellectual level. Our sex should be the last thing that you're talking about when you're talking to a female. It should not be the only thing that you, 
you have to talk about. You know how like girls get uh, irritated and they get turned off easily when the like you talking to her for five minutes and then the first thing you you have to say come out your mouth is oh you got this or you got that or wow you're shaped like this or you're shaped like that. All right, certain certain females don't mind those kind of compliments. All right, they uh, they know that they know how they look. All right, certain women know how they look when they get dressed, and you know they putting their clothes on after they step out the shower. They know how they look and how they get dressed. All right, but you don't want your mindset to just be there. You're shallow. All right, you 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 lack substance. You don't want your mind to just be there. You don't want to just be thinking about sex when it comes to. The, the female that you like or the females that you're into, that's not the only thing that should be on your mind. All right. You should be focused on her mind, not her behind. But the thing is, they got people focused on that butt. They got people focused on them breasts. They got people focused on everything that they're not supposed to be focused on when they're talking to the opposite sex. You're supposed to be focused on her mind. Our, her mind is the key. All right, you, You're supposed to be focused on her mind, getting to know her. What's she into? What's she like? What does she do? She could potentially set you up and get killed. You know, like, you thought, man, you know how many uh, females are, are, are that, that you think you're about to go have some fun with and then dudes got robbed? Excuse the noise in the background. All right, you got to, you, like, you, it, it, some, like, that's how dudes get set up. They see a chick, she's dressed nice, her body is busting out the, you know what I mean? Everything busting out the blouse, everything busting out the shorts. All right, nice shape. They'll set, people will, that's, it's called a honey trap. They'll send, they'll send something in there that you like. They might even study you. They might even study you and watch you and, and observe you from a distance like they're a, a private spy or like they're the police and just sit in a car and watch you out in public. You go, you going out to eat, you sitting at the bar, you out and shopping or whatever. They see who you looking at, who you staring at, and they send the woman of your dreams right out to you. And it's boom. Yo, what's up? Yo, you, you, your body's banging. Yo, this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. That's cool. You know, if that's your approach, if, if someone, if someone approaches you, that's, it's cool. But you, you, that can't be the only thing. All right, it can't be the only thing. The, like they're gonna get tired of you, they're gonna think you're a creep, and you you talking about sex is like the last thing that they, they, they're not gonna want to do anything like that with you. I, I'll tell you that they won't want to do anything like that with you unless she's feeling you like that. But still, even after she's feeling you like that, if that's the only thing that you have to talk about, or that's the only way you can come at her as a female, she gonna leave you and go find somebody else, and she's only gonna hit you up when she wants, and it probably won't even be at all. All right. So how you reverse your psychology is when you see women that you like, you don't put them in, in that type of context in your frame of mind. You don't immediately sexualize them in your mind. You don't focus on their body. You focus on their mind. All right. You, you focus on what kind of person they are instead of telling yourself like, oh, man, I would do this to her and I would do that to her. And oh, man, we could do this and do that and all the freaky things. All right. Instead of putting your mind on that, fellas. What you want to do is, yo, wow, man, she looks like a, a great person. Wow, she looks like an awesome person, man. Wow, she, yo, look like uh, she has good conversation skills, you know? Or, yo, I, I wow, I, I would really like to talk to her. Or whatever you see her doing. Or, wow, she has a great fashion sense. Or, wow, she keeps herself looking, yo, she keeps herself looking really good. She, wow, she, she, she keeps her hair looking nice. Or, she keeps, uh, she, yo, she always got her nails done. Or, yo, she, she's real fly, man. She always got some cool shoes on. All right, yo, look at those shoes. Look at, look at, look at those shoes. Wow. Wow. She, yo, she, she has a great fashion sense. Those are the, yo, wow, she looks like she might go to the gym. Wow, she's healthy. Wow, she could, she could uh, teach me some things about health. You know, or yo, she could, she could help me get right. She could help me get my body right. Or wow, she, uh, wow, she, she's, maybe she's at a bank. Maybe when you go to do your checking and stuff at the bank, you go to deposit your check, you know, she, she might be dressed a certain way or whatever, or the clothes might be hugging her all the right way, you know, or she might have a, a beautiful face, all right, but you want to focus on the personality. Wow, yo, she has a great personality. I, would, I, I, yo, I wouldn't mind having a conversation with her. I wouldn't mind getting to know her. I wouldn't mind talking to her. That's how you desexualize your mind. But in order to not look at women that way, you have to not look at the thing, at things that project certain women like that into your mind that way. Excuse the noise in the background if you hear any. You have to look at women in a way to where your mind is not 
looking at them solely for the purposes of sex or solely for the purposes of their body. And you know, at the world we living in today, it's difficult. You have you you have you you're gonna have to do some work on your mind, and you're gonna have to do some work on your spirit. And <clears throat> yo, the, the, it, it's gonna it's gonna take some time, all right? Because like if you, yo, I, if you like women as much as I do, or if you if you like the, you know the female species as much as I do, what you're gonna have to do is you're going to have to do some work on your mind, and you're gonna have to do some work on yourself. So that way, <clears throat> that way you can look at at women the proper way not just as <clears throat> excuse me not just as someone to have you know someone to get busy with someone that you could get to know someone that you could talk to someone that could um potentially be someone that you would want to you know see long term or get to know or have a part of your life or, or you know someone that you could do business with it's not just all about that and that's another thing man women are smart all right well, yo, women are smart it's not like they they had they 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 have done a number on the uh, on on your mind when that's all you think about they they have done a number on your mind it's like yo she could teach you something she could show you how to do something she could show you maybe she got good tech skills all right, maybe she runs a business. Maybe she could uh, help you do a business. All right, maybe she likes you that way. Maybe she doesn't. But just because she doesn't like you that way doesn't mean you just, oh, okay, let me just throw the whole idea of getting to know her away. Let me just throw the whole friendship away. Let me just, you know what I mean? This is a waste of time. No, don't look at it that way. You're not supposed to be looking at women that way. All right, I, I know you're a man and I know you view, you you can't not look at them that way in in some cases it's a part of who you are as a man and it's a part of who she is as a woman you're going to look at her a certain way she's going to look at you a certain way you're going to be attracted to what you like but the thing is you have to get that under control but the thing is it's like since people are hyper sexualized you listen to the music man like that's why you can't listen to certain things you can't listen to certain messages because you, you it's, it's going to gear your mind in a negative way all right you listen to certain music they got you know party music out there that's that's cool if it's at a party or whatever and you know people are just you know that that's the the mood of the party but the, the still man it's just it's not good the way people's mind are being programmed certain certain females are allowing that to program them to be a certain way and you can't you can't knock the fellas because certain women are allowing themselves to be programmed a certain way because of what they're seeing it's like oh she's getting all that attention i want to be like that or yo she looks she they think they call it cute you know what i'm saying like she ain't got nothing on she wearing she wearing a a, a lampshade no she she wearing a, a a plastic string or something look like she got a string on and and you know pretty much everything's exposed oh that's cute you're supposed to be able to control yourself yes you are supposed to be able to control yourself you are but the thing is you're supposed to have class and fellas you should be going after women that have class all right you should you should you should want to have a you should want to have the women in your life the women in your life you should want them to have some type of class because the women in your life are a representation of you the women that you're with fellas are a representation of you so you have to you have to choose wisely when it comes to you picking the, the right women to be in your life. Certain men will pick certain women to be in their life, and then when certain things happen, they like, I, I can't I I can't believe it. I would have never thought, like, bro, really? You was too focused on certain things. You ain't get to you ain't peep her style. You was too worried about how she looked and worried about what she could do to you than worried about what type of, of woman she actually was. And that's where a lot of dudes will get caught in the trap of being with a, a thotty or something like that. You know, being with a thotty because she got a body. All right. Hey, I'm I'm a man just like you, fellas. I get it. I understand. I overstand. But what the thing is, you have to desexualize your mind. You have to reprogram your mind and focus on women for other things other than sex. All right. That's what you have to do. You have to focus on women for other things. Maybe she maybe she can help you and get your mind right. Maybe she can help you get your money right. All right. Maybe, um, she's an author. All right. Maybe she makes clothes. All right. Maybe she runs a business. Maybe she knows how to cook. She can help you get your, your cooking on, or she can help you get your recipes up. All right. You have to start looking at them for something else other than sex. 
You have to, if you want to be successful with women, if you want to be successful in life, if you want to really have fun in life and enjoy women and getting to know women and having them in your life, bro, the only way to do it, do it is how I'm telling you right now. All right. I, I expect to have a whole bunch of uh, wonderful, amazing experiences with women because this is how I'm going. This is how I'm going to do it. This 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 is how I'm doing it. I'm not looking at them the way the Internet wants me to look at them, the way uh, they're being portrayed in music and stuff like that. If that's how they coming. Hey, that's how they coming. And, yo, yo you um, if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, it's a duck. All right, I'm not telling you to, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to look at, yeah, I know you look at like a 304 or a 305, but I'm going to look at you like you're a queen. Like, no, man, that's why you have to, the, you have to choose your woman wisely and she has to have class, but you definitely, you have to know what type of woman you're dealing with, man. You can't come at a woman with class like she's out here shaking her. You can't come at a woman like that. They all women just like just like you have a side to you to where you like women that are like that. Women have a side to them where they're like that. But they're just not gonna be all out in the open and they're not gonna be doing it for every man. All right, she's she you know, some certain things are meant to be behind closed doors. They all got that side to them. But the fact that they're they're making it a thing to where it's like, yo, no mystery. Your freaky side. Have it outside. Like, yo, you freak outside and a freak inside? Whoa. What, what did Luda say? Lady in the streets, but a freak in the bed. All right? And that's that's what it's supposed to be because what people do behind closed doors is their business. What somebody does behind closed doors is none of your business. They're not hurting you. They're not destroying nobody. They're not ruining no lives. What, they're do, what they want to do behind closed doors with their significant other is their business. But the thing is, it's like you, you, like, you don't want to have a mind that as soon as you, you meet them, it's like, yo, as soon as you meet them, freak them. You have to get that under control as a man. All right. You got to be a gentleman, you know, not like a gentleman, like a, a simp or anything, but you got to be a gentleman in the sense of just like you would want a lady. A lady wants a gentleman. Women know how men are. Trust and believe women know men, but you have to have that, that side of you under control, fellas. You got to have that side of you under control. And this is how you do it. All right. You use reverse psychology on your mind. Those thoughts are going to pop up. You just don't entertain them. All right. When, when you see someone that, that is, is interesting and you immediately tell yourself, oh, man, I would do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, X, Y, Z, L, M, N, O, P to her. Then that's the only thing you're going to be thinking about. Every time you see her, you ain't going to even be able to speak. You ain't going to have nothing to say. You're not going to be able to talk. You got that. You have to control that and, and not view them that way. So that way you'll have something to talk about. Oh, well, what are you into? Or what do you like to do? Or what, what are you interested in? Or, yo, what are some of the things, you know, you want to be able to ask questions. That's how people have a conversation. You want to be able to talk. You want to be able to ask questions. You want to be able to focus on other things. You want to be able to see what they're into. What do they like? And you want to listen. You want to listen. All right. Women will tell you everything you need to know to be able to uh, operate with them in the way that you're supposed to. You got to listen. Ask them some questions and just fall back and let them do their thing. Women love to talk. They love conversations. You, If you want to get to know her, let her talk to you. You want to let her, you want to get to know her, you let her talk to you. All right. But you got to get to know her if you want to have the right conversation. I mean, if you want to have the right interaction with them. And I know you, I know you do. You wondering why, man, why is it no uh, women hitting my phone up? Or man, why is it no this, that, and the other? You have to carry yourself a certain way. You got to work on yourself. You got to improve yourself and you got to improve your conversation. And you have to meet women on a, on, on an intellectual level, or you have to meet them on the level they're at. But if you want the type of women that I'm describing in this video, you're going to want to meet them on the intellectual level. But you also have to keep in mind that you have to meet women on the level that they're at. All right, you can't go talking some whole intellect, you know, well, the, the outer space and, you know, the third moon and the, 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 the uh, uh, pineal gland. You start, she, what? What are you talking about? That's weird. I don't understand that. You have to gradually, you know, serve certain women that aren't, aren't on, on certain levels. They'll gradually get to know you and they'll, be, they'll, oh, well, what's that you're into? Or, oh, what's what's that thing I always see you listening to? Or what's that book I always see you with? Or what are you doing when you uh, close your eyes and you're sitting there taking a deep breath? What is that? If they're interested, then they'll want to know. But you have to meet them where they're at and you can't 
um, you, you, you can't, um, you have, you have to meet them where they're at and you have to know what type of woman that you're dealing with. Are you dealing with a classy woman or are you dealing with a 304? You don't treat a, a 304 like a classy woman and you don't treat a classy woman like a 304. You have to be a judge, not judge them, not judge them, but you have to be a judge of them just so you can t tell what level of class of woman that you're dealing with. All right. And don't be focused. You can't be so focused on the, on everything that you want to do and how they look and shape and all that. All right. Face and all that. You have to be, it's better for you to focus on their personality, man. Get to know these women. So that way, you know who you're dealing with. People are so focused on looks. They don't even know who they marry. People are so focused on looks. They don't know who they really in a relationship with. You, you, you dating the whole killer. Women can be killers. Some some woman just offed her boyfriend the other day. Yo, just I think she offed more than that. I think they had a little family, whole family gone. You know, you got you got to be wearful and careful who you're dealing with. You you could be dealing with a whole psychopath. She fine though. <laughs> you know, and that's where just that's where some people's mind is at. And I'm hey, we all gotta grow. That's all I'm gonna say. We all have to grow. We yo, we all we all we all gotta grow. You gotta grow, fellas. All right, so yo, now now that you know, it's your time to grow. All right, yo, I'm passing, I'm I'm passing this divine wisdom on to you. All right, you have to grow. All right, look at look at people for more than just what you see them as. You have to. It's deeper than that. It's more to it than that. And when you want to deal with them on a deeper level, you want to have a deeper connection. You wonder why you, 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 your interactions aren't what you want them to be and why you can't have the connections that you want to have. And today it's a little sparse. I ain't, ain't going to say that. I ain't going to not say that either. It's a little sparse today. All right. It's, it's, they, they, are, they are programming them to purposefully not hide anything. All right. But, yo, know, there used to be certain things where it's like there was mystery. They're programming. They're programming them to just say, screw mystery. I want to, I want to walk around half naked. You know, I want to dress how I want to dress my body, my choice. I do with it what I want. You know, I, you know, I, I want to dress how I want to dress. I want to show the whole world. If I want to expose it, Hey, I'm gonna expose it. All right. But you can't be expecting men to treat you like you. You can't expect men to look at you like that woman with class over there that knows how to handle herself, that knows how to dress, that dresses appropriately, that carries herself in a, in a professional appropriate manner. You know, it's, you know it's, it's it's okay to have a different side to you, but you ain't got to you ain't got to show the other side, you know, to everyone and everything. All right, all right you, you don't you don't have to do that. But you know, hey, people are doing what they want to do, so men be careful, choose wisely. All right, I'm not saying to not have experiences. I'm not saying to not have certain women in your life. I'm not saying that you can't, you know, uh, you you can't do what you like to do. All I'm saying is is that you need to carry yourself as a man a certain way and for, for, for you and for the sake of just being a better person and making, making your environment or your world as, as, as good as it could possibly be, to be setting a good example for those around you and for yourself included, you know, just, just so you could do, do what's right. Just view, view women from a, a point of view that's going to benefit you the best way. And that's, looking at their personality, realizing that, oh, she's a good person. Yo, she's got a personality. It's more to her than what they're trying to program you to view women as. Just like just there is they, they want you to just see them as, as just, you know, just what they show online and stuff like that. All those videos, you know, the, all that stuff, you know, and hey, it is what it is. But that stuff's supposed to be behind closed doors. That's some stuff you're supposed to do with, with your man when the doors close and the blinds are shut. You're not supposed to be doing that online and stuff. And I know people want to get views and and people, oh, look how many views she got for her butt. Uh, look how many views she got for uh, dressing this way. I understand that, but you can you don't want to be that. Those people when they go in into uh, they may do that for like a little act or whatever. But after that, they probably can go buy a suit or some really nice clothes and dress how they really want to dress. And they still probably you know dress like a freak or whatever. But hey. You don't even, yo, know, even, and, and really a lot, a lot of, you know, not to say, and I mean, I'm, I'm a young dude, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm talking, I'm speaking to my generation. I know there are different age ranges that watch my videos, but Hey, it is what it is, man. 
people people are dressing a little bit people people dress a little fresh today so you you want to be able if it is a chick that you, a woman excuse me if it is a female or a chick that you like then you know you want still no matter how she's dressed it's a test even 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 with her dressed all how she want to dress if you, if you're not able to still meet her at an intellectual level and look past that she ain't going to want to get with you so even though she might be dressed like this, she might be dressed like that, you still got to be a different dude and look past all that. Like, yo, where is your mind at? That's what I want to know. I want your I want to know where your mind is at. All right, I'm trying to get in here. I want to get to I want to get to know you. And you know, don't put yourself in any compromising situations, all right? Ain't nobody trying to get no ain't no ain't nobody trying to get to know nobody in a bedroom. All right, let's just let's, let's say that right there. All right, ain't nobody trying to get nobody to know nobody in a bedroom. All right, so keep, yo, keep it, keep it right, keep it tight. And you know, if you're trying to get to know them and you want to talk to them, do it in the right place, in the right space. All right, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, but that, just on that last note, just so it's no mixed messages. All right. Get, get, get to know people in the right space. You don't get to know somebody in a bedroom, all right? Unless you're really trying to get to know them in, a, in another way, all right? So um, <laughs> I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button. Smash the share button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. We out.